when we remodeled the Congress Avenue Bridge in 1980 and used a concrete box beam construction, uh, the engineers that built that bridge specified an expansion gap of three quarters of an inch so that um, the heat wouldn't destroy the bridge. Um, but they didn't realize it at the time, but they were specifying the world's largest urban bat roost. So bats said, ooh, a three-quarter inch crevice that only I can fit in and I can fly up in there. And uh, and let's see, it's also heated by the sun, so it's basically a solar-powered incubator. They thought that was perfect. So um, bats have been – they took to it readily. I think within the first year there was – um, a colony about half the size of what we have now, and by the second year, there were as many bats there two years after it was built as, as there are now. So we commonly reference one and a half million bats. I'm not sure anybody really knows for sure, but um, it's a huge colony, the largest urban bat colony in the world as far as we know. So... Um, but it is a perfect roost. So the, the, the crevices in that roost, um, being warm, well protected, and, um, they're, they're protected from ground predators that, that congregate around the mouths of caves in the hill country because they're elevated. So there are no raccoons, there are no snakes, uh, no possums, um, uh, skunks or ring-tailed cats or anything like that that congregate at the mouths of caves in the in the hill country. Um, so they simply had to learn how to put up with humans in order to take advantage of it. So they've become accustomed to our road noise. That The traffic on Congress Avenue Bridge does not bother them. Um, they, a certain amount of white noise from the city um, is, is fine with them. They've accommodated to, they've learned to become accustomed to it, and it's only unusual noises that cause them to that interrupt their pattern. Um, I think certainly Fourth of July is kind of a big deal when the the fireworks go off. That usually they're long gone by then, but um, and have flown out to feed by the time the fireworks happen. But but unusual noises. Um, like people under the bridge slapping paddles on the water or uh, clapping to try to make them come out are certainly not acceptable. And they will interrupt the, the bat's peace of mind. But uh, for the most part, they've learned to accommodate you know, and accept us as beneficial in that we scare away the predators. And they're willing to put up with a certain amount of our, um, you know, shenanigans basically to uh, take advantage of our, just our, our scaring of the predators for them. So interesting trade-off.